Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about how to find the slope of the tangent line to a curve when we're given the equation of the curve. The function we're talking about is 4 over the square root of x. The most important thing to remember in this problem is that the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. Derivative equals slope. In fact, for the most part, calculus is all about slope and the derivative is our way of finding it. And at first we use what's called the limit of the difference quotient to find the derivative. That's the definition. But then we use learn some techniques. One of the techniques that we learned that allows us to skip over the limit of the difference quotient is that if we want to take the derivative of x to a power n with respect to x, then we can use the power rule that says we bring the n, the power n out front and subtract one from it. So for example, if we had x cubed and we wanted to take the derivative of x cubed with respect to x, that would be 3x squared. Now the function we have, 4 over the square root of x, looks very different from that. Uh, and we don't have any rules where we can take the derivative of a square root, but just using a different notation, we can think of the square root as a power of 1 half. And you might notice that in the power rule, the x is not in a denominator, but what we could do, we can bring this x to the 1 half up to the top of the fraction, and change the sign of the exponent to negative, and we still haven't changed the uh, value of the function. So up to this point, we're just doing algebra. We're using algebra to rewrite the function. Haven't done any calculus yet. Okay, I certainly haven't applied the power rule yet, but what I have done is I've rewritten it in such a way that I can apply the power rule. So to find the derivative of this function, the coefficient will stay the same, the four. Anytime you have a constant multiple, that just stays the same. And then we're gonna take the derivative of x to the negative one half by bringing the negative one half power out front and then subtracting one from it. So we're going to have four times negative one half times x to the negative three halves power. Now, oftentimes people ask me, where'd that negative three halves come from? So remember, when you take negative one half and subtract one, that's the same as negative one half minus two over two, which is negative three over two. Let's simplify a little bit. Four times a half is two, and it's gonna be a negative in this case. So we have negative two x to the negative three halves. And we don't normally like to leave a negative exponent in our uh, expression, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that to negative two over x to the positive 3 halves. All right, so what we've accomplished so far is we got a formula for the derivative at any point x. In other words, we got a formula for the slope. And what we were asked to find is what is the slope when x is equal to 1 fourth? So we need to find f prime of 1 fourth. So the slope of the tangent line at x equals 1 fourth is going to be f prime of 1 fourth. f prime is given by negative 2 over x to the 3 halves. So we are going to plug in and get negative 2 over 1 fourth to the 3 halves. Let's simplify here. So we have negative 2 over. You can think of this back in radical notation as the square root of 1 fourth cubed. The numerator is the power, and the denominator of this little exponent here is going to be your index of your root. So it's a square root. So the square root of 1 fourth, well, 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth. So that's really just 1 half to the third power. 1 half to the third power is 1 eighth. So we have negative 2 over 1 eighth. Or in other words, using keep change flip or multiplying by the reciprocal, because this is a division problem, we have negative 2 times 8 over 1, which is negative 16. Remember, this was just a formula for the slope and we plugged in the value that they asked us about and we got negative 16. So that's the slope of the tangent line at that x value. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and like it so that will help other students to find the video.